Founded in 2016, Koo is a relatively new cycling sunglasses brand from the maker of Cask Helmets. Its flagship model, the Koo Open, was well received, and now the brand has launched a half-frame iteration of this model called the Koo Open Cube. Made in Italy, the Open Cube features a large one-piece lens clipped into a solid but very lightweight frame. These shades weigh next to nothing. A pair of size mediums, for example, will tip the scales at just 35 grams. As the first half-frame sunglasses I've tested, the spacious feeling that I felt when I initially tried them on took me by surprise. The frame and lens comfortably wrap around your head and fit like a glove, with the outside edges of the lens well outside your field of vision. That leads us nicely onto the star of the show, the lens. Manufactured by legendary brand Zeiss, known for high quality camera lenses, it's an impressive bit of kit. I tested the open cubes in a variety of variable light conditions and the lens performed flawlessly. It's the clarity of the lens that really stands out. There is not even the slightest hint of distortion across the whole visual field. Compared to other sunglasses brands that I've tested, like Oakley and Electric, the Zeiss lens doesn't mess around with or enhance the contrast. Instead, it seems to block all colours of light equally, maintaining a balanced and neutral tone. Whether this is something that you like is down to personal preference, but it feels really natural to me. As with many other high-end cycling sunglasses, the lens in the Q Open Cube is interchangeable. Simply hold the outside edge of the lens and pull it away from the frame, then reverse the process to snap a new one in place. Aside from moving to the half-frame design with the open cube, Q has also added ventilation notches at the sides and across the top of the lens. Despite this, the close-fitting wraparound design does an amazing job at protecting your eyes from the wind, dust and those pesky bugs. Overall, ventilation seems to work well. Occasionally, I did find that there was a tiny bit of fogging around the edges of the lens when I stopped cycling, but this was swiftly cleared up as soon as I started moving again and the airflow resumed. Airflow is also aided by the ingenious pivoting arms. Instead of folding like traditional sunglasses, the arms on the open cube rotate. This allows for the lens to be tilted at three different angles to provide additional ventilation and a better fit for your face shape. It's a small detail, but one that I found useful. The arms are flexible and have inset rubber grippers that comfortably secure the sunglasses around your head. These are an expensive pair of sunnies, so the last thing you want is for them to fall off. It's a bit unconventional, but to test this I wore the Koo open cubes while doing backflips on a trampoline. Normally, the centrifugal force would rip my go-to pair of sunglasses from my face, but the open cubes stayed firmly wrapped on my head. That's a big thumbs up for me. The other point of contact on the pair of sunglasses is the nose piece, and Koo hasn't skimped on design here either. The shades come pre-fitted with adjustable nose pads that click back and forth between two positions. This means you can set them for a wide or narrow nose to further refine the fit. You can also swap out the nose pads for a nose bridge. This adjusts in the same way, but holds the lens slightly further away from your face to allow more airflow. Being made from a soft rubber material, I found that both the nose pads and nose bridge gripped my nose very comfortably without any undue pressure. After a while, it almost felt like I wasn't even wearing sunglasses. With a price tag of £180, the Koo Open Cube is unashamedly pitched at the premium end of the market. This will obviously be an important factor when choosing a new pair of cycling shades. However, when you compare the Koo's crystal clear optics to those from a cheaper brand, there's no comparison. So, if you're thinking of picking up a pair of these shades, then it's likely that you've also considered sunnies from other high-end brands such as Oakley and Pock. Compared to these, I would say that the main thing to consider is whether you prefer your sunglasses to enhance colours, like Oakley lenses tend to do, or maintain a neutral tone, like the Zeitz lens in the Koo Open Cube. Again, this is a personal preference, but as a long-time Oakley user and having tested the open cubes, I'm making the switch.